everyone talking about in love with everything by imaginary authors this just came out in october 2022 the notes in it are neon raspberry citrus pulp coconut palm sugar which is different than what coconut smells like itself sandalwood tropical punch and stardust so the opening is a very potent bowl of fruit punch in a like carefree sunny day vibe not like awkward school dance stereotype of having a punch bowl or whatever um very bright sweet and kind of vibrant fruity fun as it progresses the palm sugar and sandalwood definitely start to come out more though i would say the fruity you know tropicalness of it lasts quite a while this is not one of those scents where it's like oh there's a quick burst of fruit in the opening and then bye like it's central to the whole path of this scent palm sugar smells kind of like slightly earthy brown sugar not this is not an earthy scent or anything like that not like super earthy but there is that kind of like yeah and almost like a grainy feel to it a little bit but like kind of molasses-y um the sandalwood i would say maybe like australian sandalwood <laughs> that sounds so pretentious but i'm saying that because it took me a long time of smelling different types of sandalwood to kind of realize that because i would think like i do not like sandalwood in general i don't hate it but i just usually don't like it and it would just always kind of ruin a fragrance for me like um oh, no that just isn't i don't like the way that smells but then i realized that i do really like my source sandalwood and i don't particularly love the sandalwood that comes out here so i don't think it's that kind just an fyi in case you've smelled both those kinds and you like one or the other there's also a note called madame isaac perrier or something and i thought maybe that was part of like the because imaginary authors are all based on fake books that they come up with me i was like maybe that's a character in it but no it's actually a type of like rose or rose bush but this doesn't smell very rosy or anything it's just kind of like bright i would say Overall, it doesn't really excite me, uh, but I definitely don't actively dislike it, and I'd be totally fine with being around somebody else who was wearing it. Not, you know, it's not like, oh, God, get that away from me by any means. It's not even that I think it's boring. It just doesn't grab me, but this isn't my favorite type of scent category. I really prefer, for fruity scents, I'm much more about, like, a lot of citrus and less about the kind of, like, yeah, fruit punch, raspberry... Like, I like those notes too, but it's just too much of kind of that, just like fresh fruit and mainly that uh, for my taste. But if that sounds good to you, like it's kind of like a happy, fresh fruit, you know, tropical punch type of scent, I totally would recommend this. It has low to moderate longevity and projection. I would say very, very unisex and goes for $95 for a 50 mil. I think that's fair enough for what this is. Like I said, it's just not really my favorite thing, um, but it's well done for what it's going for. And uh, yeah, I will link in the description where you can get a bottle or a sample if you want to check it out.